His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 17 of 2024, appointing a director at the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, based on a proposal by the Minister of Labour and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the LMRA. The edict stipulated that Saud Abdullah Abdurrahman Yatim shall be appointed as the Director of Protection and Grievances at the LMRA. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the final match of the 7th edition of the Royal Artillery Ramadan Football Championship for the officers at the Royal Artillery Stadium. His Highness awarded the Royal Bahraini Air Force team the championship of the 7th edition of the championship for officers after they won the final match with a score of 3-0 against the Royal Artillery team. His Highness honoured the players of the final two teams, third place finisher, the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the tournament's best player, top scorer, best goalkeeper and the referees. The commander of the Royal Artillery presented His Highness with a souvenir to celebrate the occasion. His Highness commended the BDF for supporting the tournament and he also congratulated and thanked the commander of the Royal Artillery and its members for organising the tournament as well as the Bahrain Football Association and all participating entities, directorates and teams that contributed to the tournament's success. The commander of the Royal Bahraini Air Force, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the commander of the Royal Artillery, Major General Sheikh Khalifa bin Hassan Al Khalifa, and a number of unit commanders and senior BDF officers also attended the event. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session, headed by its chairman, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne. Sheikh Abdurrahman stressed that the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty, with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, embody Bahrain's values, authentic identity, and his ancient history to be an inspiring model of civilizational achievements and national gains that have been continuing since 25 years ago. The Board expressed their gratitude to His Majesty's reception of them on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan expressing their appreciation and pride in His Majesty's appreciation of the Council's role in serving Islam, pledging to His Majesty to meet his aspirations to serve religion, the homeland and values. The Chairman expressed his appreciation for the sponsorship, support and interest in the country's worship places from His Majesty and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Sheikh Abdurrahman appraised the order of His Royal Highness to inaugurate, restore and develop 32 mosques in all governorates affiliated with the Sunni and Jafri Waqf directorates within the framework of the plan to develop mosques. He extended congratulations on the opening of these mosques. He valued the role of donators in reconstructing and providing care for mosques, expressing Bahrain's pride in their generous contributions to serve the religion, country and society. The Council reviewed a memorandum from the General Secretariat regarding the UN General Assembly's approval of the decision to combat hatred of Islam and expressed its welcome to this important decision, appreciating the initiative of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation to present this project. The meeting expressed aspirations that the implementation of the decision will contribute to reducing the extremist and racist orientations and ideas targeting Islam and Muslims around the world. 
The Council also reviewed the latest preparations to celebrate at Lailat al Qadr and the closing ceremony of the 28th edition of the Bahrain Quran Grand Prize to be held on the blessed Lailat al Qadr at the Al Fatah Grand Mosque under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wala Mubarak, and the Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, paid an inspection visit to the infrastructure development projects currently being implemented in the Southern Governorate. During the visit, Al Mubarak affirmed that the continuation of development work in Al Dur Walkway, noting that the Khalifa City Souk project is in the planning stage. He added that more green areas will be added between buildings in residential neighbourhoods and afforestation will be increased in line with the National Afforestation Plan. Al Hawaj affirmed that the Ministry will work on implementing a number of infrastructure development projects to enhance the quality of public services and meet the needs of the people. They reviewed the updates on the development of some roads and a number of projects that the Ministry of Works will implement in the 10th constituency of the Southern Governorate within the third package of road, sanitation and municipal projects. Three projects will be implemented to serve the housing area in Khalifa City, which will facilitate movement and access to the area. First Deputy Chairman of Shura Council and Head of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division, delegation participating in the IPU 148th General Assembly, Jamal Fakro, delivered a speech before the General Assembly, confirming the Kingdom's efforts in spreading a culture of peace and devo devoting the foundations of peaceful coexistence, tolerance and respect among peoples. Fakro pointed out that the legislative authority in Bahrain is determined to support international partnerships and constructive cooperation between parliaments, stressing the continuation of spreading Bahrain's civilizational message, which is based on a history of modernization and peace. He pointed out that this message constitutes a beacon in religious, spiritual and cultural coexistence and tolerance, which is a pivotal partner in the consolidation of international partnership. Fakhru said that the general discussion revolves around the role of parliamentary diplomacy in achieving peace and understanding between people and facing global challenges and achieving the goals of sustainable development. He noted the importance of the roles played by the parliamentary diplomacy in light of the current challenges. The first Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Abdul Nabi Salman, and Representative Council Member Hassan Ibrahim continue the participation in the meeting of the IPU Committee on Peace and International Security. The committee discussed drafting its draft resolution on addressing the social and humanitarian impact of autonomous weapon systems and AI. Shura Council Member Dr. Bassem Al bin Mohammed and Representative Council Member Hassan Ibrahim Hassan participated in the second meeting of the IPU's Committee for Sustainable Development. The committee discussed the drafting of the resolution and partnerships for climate action, promoting access to affordable green energy and ensuring innovation, responsibility and equity. The two members of the Parliamentary Division delegation presented suggestions that would help amend the final wording of the committee's draft resolution. Shura Council Member Dalal Al Zaid participated in the meeting of the Committee on D Democracy and Human Rights, held as part of the 148th IPU General Assembly. Al Zaid stressed the necessity of standardising the applications and uses of artificial intelligence with international human rights laws, ensuring the protection of the privacy of individuals. She said that the damage to the use of AI requires a systematic evaluation of the influence and monitoring of AI systems in order to determine the risks that threaten human rights. She said that the design, development, publishing and evaluation of AI techniques must be guaranteed and in accordance with the obligations of countries under international human rights laws and the responsibilities of commercial institutions. The member of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division participating in the IPU General Assembly, Dr Mandi al Shawak, intervened during the meeting of the Committee on Democracy and Human Rights, where he affirmed the need to stop the safe and use of artificial intelligence systems that pose a serious threat to human rights until appropriate legal guarantees are adopted. 
as she works stress the need to bridge the prominent gap in accountability and for how data is collected, stored, shared and used. And it is one of the most pressing human issues given the continuous growth of AI. He highlighted the risk of discrimination associated with decisions managed by AI which may change, limit or harm human lives. He stated that digital counterfeiting and media misinformation using AI applications can play a role in elections, affect their integrity and affect the course of democracy, stressing the necessity of establishing legal mechanisms as a foundation against misleading information and subjecting it to oversight. The Member of the Shura Council and Member of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division participating in the IPU General Assembly, Ahala Ramsey, participated in a panel discussion on the Interfaith Dialogue entitled Building Bridges Through Interfaith Dialogue for More Peaceful and Inclusive Societies. Ramsey affirmed that the comprehensive vision and humanitarian approach of His Majesty the King formed a basic starting point for many valuable initiatives in spreading peace she praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to building partnerships and bolstering cooperation on friendly countries. She added that Bahrain witnessed over the past two decades a remarkable movement in the support for interfaith dialogue. She noted that the Kingdom was keen to organise and host many international events, supporting dialogue between sects and religions, noting that Bahrain is a model of peaceful coexistence and harmony between followers of different religions, sects and cultures. The Secretary General of the Shura Council, Karim Al Abbasi, participated in the second meeting of the Association of Secretaries General of Parliaments. The meeting discussed innovations in Parliament and in relations between the academic world and Parliaments. The Chairman of Jaffrey Waf Council, Yosef Al Saleh, also opened the Iman Hassan Mosque in Kazakhstan. Al Saleh said in his speech during the opening ceremony that the rapid pace of implementing projects for places of worship in various regions of the kingdom reflects the keenness of official and private bodies to care for mosques. He wished the initiators and contributors to building and constructing the mosque success. Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, inaugurated the Adnan Ahmed Yusuf Abdul Malik Mosque in Bahrain Bay. The inauguration is in line with the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to open, restore, and develop 32 mosques under the Sunni and Jafri Waqf, located across the kingdom's governorates, as part of the development plan for mosques. Dr. Sheikh Rashid emphasised Bahrain's progress in expanding and reconstructing mosques affirming the Kingdom's commitment to rebuilding houses of worship under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness. Dr Sheikh Rashid expressed appreciation to Adnan Abdul Malik for a significant contribution to the mosque's construction. Arab Parliament Speaker Adel al Asumi confirmed that the celebration of Bahraini Youth Day is an important occasion to renew pride in the contributions of youth in all sectors. He stressed that Bahraini youth are supported by His Majesty the King, noting that the Kingdom has become a leading model in empowering youth. He appreciated the government's efforts, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to highlight youth activity and energies. He praised the efforts of initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa to advance Bahraini youth capabilities, as well as the contributions of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa in raising the efficiency of young athletes to make further accomplishments. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce, represented by the Inspection Directorate, participates in the celebrations of Arab Standardisation Day, which comes this year under the slogan Standardisation for a Thriving Economy and a Vibrant, Sustainable Society in affirmation of the pivotal role that standardisation plays in promoting economic growth, improving the quality of products and increasing their competitiveness and reducing technical barriers on trade. The Inspection Directorate seeks to achieve the goals of sustainable development by providing a set of specifications that clarify sustainability and environmental protection to help institutions and individuals implement good management practices, rationalise consumption, protect the environment and the health and safety of consumers. Bahrain is considered one of the leading countries in the field of standards at the regional level, 
for its system that ensures the application of the best international practices in this field. Based on the belief that standardisation plays a pivotal role in supporting sustainable development goals.